it's been two years, one month, and seven days since my last panic attack. It's been two years, one month, and seven days since I asked myself why I was born in this country. It's been two years, one month, and seven days since I held my heart praying for the morning to come. Two years since I let my temper loose, let it rummage through my father's polo and leave pink prints all over the floor. Two years since I wondered which of my friends I would probably never see again, since I prayed that my best months could change because I didn't want to be associated with such chaos. It's been two years, one month, and seven days since my country's military decided they were so jealous of David, they opted for a bloodied flag. Two years since we got locked down post-COVID, we dressed in grief and mourned behind closed doors, and even when those doors were open, we maxed our intentions. All because the professional tests, I mean the pro-testament, sorry, the protest could only identify the virus, but it could not fix it. So, two years later, look at us. We have dragged our sick body out in hope for a cure. Two years later, look at us. Indifferently wandering parts unknown, lost in after a cure. And just take a look at our rescue team. See how they wave their party flags of deceit in our faces in hope of a cure. Even the sick are offering us treatment. Such a who blah blah. Such a blah blah. Such a who blah blah blue. But then again, what do I know about politics? I mean, I remember during sensitization, they say things like our vote count or is it body count? I mean, they said something about vote counting, or is it body counting? They said something about counting our vote, or is it counting our dead bodies? Because it's confusing. We have polls, pools, we have voting pools, we have dead polls. I can't quite figure it out. But then again, what do I know about politics? I know you think I'm here to tell you what to do with your tongue, but that's on you. Dip is in ink, bite it, cut it off for all I care. I said, that's on you. But remember that whatever decision you make come next year, prepare your feet for dancing. Because this music you're about to play is stuck on loop.